Full discover, Harry and Meghan play victims perfectly for sympathy with nauseous plan than ever. Since America famously did an entire revolution so we wouldn't have to concern ourselves with whatever it is King Charles III gets up to in his free time, it's flummoxing to me that his son and his son's wife, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, seem fixated on becoming the American royalty they so obviously think that we need. When we already have the Kardashians, the American royalty we so obviously deserve. Our interest in the Sussexes is for entertainment purposes only, so if they're not going to serve us up a heaping hungry man-helping of revolutionary schadenfreude by reminding us why we bounced in the first place, then what use are they to us? The British author and political commentator was convinced that Markle could still find a way to redeem her name despite the controversy because she and her husband Prince Harry were allegedly good at playing victims. Panahi agreed with Murray, saying the Sussexes know how to play the victim. She also called Prince Harry and Markle the world's most privileged victims. If we learn anything from those two, Meghan and Harry, so we can play the victim better than anybody in the world, she said. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made their first engagement as a married couple at King Charles' 70th garden party. However, there were outrageous allegations that the celebrant allegedly asked them to leave. During the chat, British journalist Dan Wooten asked royal author Angela Levin about the rumours swirling around King Charles' 70th garden party. Levin said she was lucky to be there, and she remembered that it happened exactly three days after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal wedding. She witnessed the interactions between the Sussexes and the new king and queen consort. According to her, when the two couples parted, there were lots of kisses, cuddles and thank yous. It was reportedly a very nice gesture. So she was surprised when she heard the claims that Prince Harry and Markle were thrown out of the gathering, and it was allegedly the start of their falling out with King Charles. They claimed that they were thrown out, Levin alleged of Prince Harry and Markle. There were no protection officers dragging them out. Charles, who was having a lovely time at his first birthday party for a year, wouldn't have made a fuss and done anything wrong. It's absolute nonsense. I was standing right there, Levin continued. They've used it and twisted it somehow to be the beginning of a problem. Wooten commented on the change in narrative after hearing what Levin said. The hosts speculated that Prince Harry and Markle were looking for ways to be considered victims. According to latest reports, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are at odds with Netflix and even their own production team as they backtrack on what they want to show the public in their upcoming docuseries. That's exactly what Netflix executives are asking themselves as Meghan and Harry are having second thoughts in their own story on their own project, the documentary they've been making for a year now, now that the Queen has died. Now that the Queen has died, the couple allegedly wants to cut chunks from the dock, which they've been filming for more than a year now, but Netflix chiefs are standing by the Sussex's filmmakers who want to keep the content according to insiders. Harry and Meghan are having second thoughts on their own story, on their own project. According to another industry source, Harry and Meghan are panicked about trying to tone down even the most basic language, but it's their story from their own mouths. Sources now say the couple actually started rethinking the show, which is being produced by their own company, Archwell, before the monarch died on September the 8th at age 96.